All right. Today, I'm going to be working on uh, the hand of the cowboy holding the uh, reins. Time to play with some clay. I did a little research last night on proper rain, rain holding, or whatever you call it, and found that uh, I do have him holding the right way, the uh, reins, and uh, but I may have had his hand back too far because a cowboy that's been well versed all his life in riding and holding the reins properly would have held a little tighter hold. Well, actually would have been a little looser hold on the reins because he's riding a trail where he doesn't they have to make a lot of direction changes. The horse pretty much follows the, uh, the trail or uh, the herd. Uh, he has a pocket on his... Uh, chap and uh, I just matched the size of the uh, sha the pocket with the other pocket on the other side so that they're both same I'm just shaving off the top a little Oh, by the way, the uh, tool I glued last night, or made, works perfectly now. It's a lot easier to handle and control with a thicker handle. The uh, latex tip on it is one I made. There are several people who show how to make uh, latex sculpting tools on YouTube so all you gotta do is do a little search and uh, you'll find them it's rather simple to make your tool too you just have to have in mind what kind of uh, tip you want. All right, I've uh, got to adjust my light here so you can see. I'm not blind myself. Anyway, this is uh, the size of the hand. I figure about the size that the palm is about a half head length in length, and that's what I've measured out here. And the reason I'm doing it on this piece of wood is because I want to have both hands match in size. So when I get done doing this hand, I'll work on the other hand. Okay, I'm trying to line up the fingers the best I can. I don't know, it just looks big. But I'm going to go on through it, working on it until I attach it to the cowboy. And if it looks too big on the cowboy, then I'll just redo it.
this is where I'm going to combine the regular clay with this clay because it's just easier and it sticks easier as well. I've got to leave an opening for the rains to come through. My eyes are getting blurry. When my eyes get tired, they get blurry and working this tight and this small, they tend to get a little blurry. I, I don't know if you can really see what I'm doing. I'm going to cut off the camera till I get this done. And then come back when I attach the hand. Okay, I'm going to try to push this into the clay without damaging the clay that I just worked on. Now it doesn't look too big. That's good. Now I just gotta get around the camera so I can do this. Turn his hand up a little bit. Looks pretty good. Dang. It's always nice when a plan comes together. I'll just have the reins coming out from his hand or do I want to make him like that I'm going to tie the hand in with the arm. And I'm going to do that uh, by running some clay through uh, my pasta machine. And uh, let me see if I can get that done here. First, I got to join up the hand with the uh, clay. The reason I didn't do this part of the sleeve is because I knew I was going to have to do this. And I'd be screwing up whatever I worked on. So, like I said, you have to plan out what you're going to do and kind of schedule what you're going to do. Okay, I ran pasta machine, this clay here. And this is the uh, upper part of the glove. And I'm just going to work out the uh, length, the uh, full size of it. I'm going to mark it right there. All right. Okay.
Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way because it's in the way. And I'll put it back up when I get to that point. I've got to put some clay down here behind the glove. All right, I got to put some wrinkles in this uh, glove. All right, now I'm going to match the uh, super sculpty to the uh, rest of the clay with some paint. Paint will have no effect on the bronze. It'll all come out looking exactly the same. It'll just help me to see more clearly what it looks like all together and also when I take pictures of it it'll all look good okay I'm gonna let that dry and I'll be right back all right, I'm just going to paint these straps, these reins, to match the clay. Again, for photographic purposes. All right, I put the jackrabbit back on because uh, this next time I work on this side, I'll be working with the tail and having it uh, mounting or touching the jackrabbit. I've got a lot of work on the legs to get them all cleaned up and uh, the tail to do, but the next time I come back, I'll be working on this hand, which is gonna be up against the uh, horse's neck and uh, withers. And that cowboy, well, I got the uh, scarf scarf to do and I'll take the hat back off when I do that do that I got the hiccups <laughs> anyway I think it's looking pretty good I I like the way the cowboy's hand turned out and I like the way the glove turned out as well and uh I'm happy I'm really happy with uh how this whole thing is turning out I was dreading doing this hand because I I'm not very good at doing hands, but I think this one turned out pretty good. I've got a little touch up with clay that I'm going to do just to fill out that thumb a little bit better. But uh, I'm going to let it stiffen up overnight and do that next time as well. I'm holding off doing the mane until the very last because uh, I don't want to be banging into it while I'm working on other parts of the, the cowboy. But the vest, the shirt... The uh, it's just really turning out great. All right, everybody, I'll see you uh, next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel, it really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video, it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that. Could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.